All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. And right now it's 11:34 a.m., so market should be uh, uh, taking a break for lunch, essentially. Um, all right, so I woke up kind of late, like around 10:30, uh, because I went to bed at like 2 a.m. yesterday. I wound up playing too much uh, <laughs> Counter Strike. Uh, but I definitely have realized, yeah, the game I really want to play just doesn't exist. So I'm really hoping that when I do teach myself uh, Unreal Engine and coding, I'll actually be able to make a make the, make not only a fun game, but the game I would like to play. So uh, hopefully that won't be too bad. Call the police, whichever is an act that can take for a parent child, uh, who are face masks outside. They see each other. Oh, I actually want to watch this. Uh... We did give in. This grotesque version of Halloween went on for more than a year, and it's still going on. Not even Tony Fauci still pretends that masks are medically necessary. Instead, masks are purely a sign of political obedience. That is true. And on top of that, the reason why there are so many black people essentially hitting us Asians at random. Those are just another one in Harlem just a couple days ago. Um, luckily, the idiot didn't have a mask, so we'll be able to catch him eventually. It's because they're all hiding behind masks. That's why we can't find them, because we can't fucking identify them. So that's why we need these stupid masks to go away. Yeah, even Fauci even said that <clears throat> they don't work, so why are we still fucking wearing them? It's like Kim Il-sung pins in Pyongyang. We wear them because we have to. The only people who wear masks voluntarily outside are zealots and neurotics. How neurotic are they? Well, we know. A Pew survey from last March found that 64% of white Americans who classify themselves as liberal or very liberal have been diagnosed with an actual mental health condition. And you see them everywhere when you walk down the street in any major city. If you dare to go on foot from Union Station to the Capitol, for example, in Washington without wearing a mask, angry Biden voters will snort at you in judgment. How could you? They're saying from behind the gauze. How could you? That's the question we should be asking of them in return. The rest of us should be snorting at them first. They're the aggressors. It's our job to brush them back and restore the society we were born in. So the next time you see someone in a mask on the sidewalk or on the bike path, do not hesitate. Ask politely but firmly, would you please take off your mask? Science shows there is no reason for you to be wearing it. Your mask is making me uncomfortable. We should do that and we should keep doing it until wearing a mask outside is roughly as socially accepted as lighting a marble in an elevator. It's repulsive. Uh, Don't do it around other people. That's the message we should send because it's true. As for forcing children to wear masks outside, that should be illegal. Your response when you see children wearing masks as they play should be no different from your response to seeing someone beat a kid in Walmart. Call the police immediately. Contact Child Protective Services. Keep calling until someone arrives. What you're looking at is abuse. It's child abuse, and you are morally obligated is, to attempt to prevent that is it. That's actually true. Like kids that had to do like the uh, the online learning stuff. I mean, I would have loved it when I was going to high school. It's like, oh, I can I can wake up later now, <laughs> right? I hated waking up at seven fifty three a.m. in the morning. I hated it so much. But I could have done all that crap online when I was going to high school and even junior high. Man, that would have been fantastic. But anyway, a lot of kids actually don't like it. They like you know, like get depressed and have like mental problems because they're not around actual kids, you know, especially their own age. It's very unhealthy for children. <clears throat> and then the mask kind of does the same thing too. It's like kids just want to see other kids, you know. So yeah, Tucker Carlson's been on fire lately. All right, and the, uh, I actually have to t see. There's so much shit going on right now, but I still have to finish this video. <laughs> If it's your own children being abused, then act accordingly. <clears throat> Let's say your kid's school emailed you to announce that every day after lunch, your sixth grader was going to get punched in the face by a teacher. How would you respond to that? That's precisely how you should respond when they tell you that your kids have to wear masks on the soccer field. That is unacceptable, it is dangerous, and we should act like it, because it is. But too few of us have responded like that. Oh, okay. Um, this is actually important. Fuck. Uh, let me go on my Chrome over here real quick. Uh, all right, well, I gotta fire up YouTube and then I gotta look up Tucker Carlson because I also have to buy another uh replacement battery for my cell phone. That thing is like, uh, all right, um, 
monologue. I used to assume it's the monologue. Oh man, this is gonna be a pain in the ass for me to find this thing. All right, so yeah, people are starting to get really mad. Then what's this real ID? <clears throat> Uh, deadline for a real ID for air travel pushed back due to COVID pandemic. Uh, okay, so this is pretty good. They're gonna, uh, people are at least are resisting real ID because Europe is now requiring vaccine passports. So this real ID shit is just gonna just make, like, it's all part of the same shit just to track you and then ban you. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, at least some fucking shit libs are opposing this, so that's pretty good. Uh, helps, uh, oh yeah, and look at this fake news, right? You say, well, the CDC says you should still wear a mask, even though he specifically says, Fauci said that they don't work. So they're obviously kind of, like, this is, this is how they get you. They lie about Bitcoin, they lie about, they lie, lie about money, then they lie about the masks, because this is basically, uh, yeah, I'm putting this on YouTube. Um, they lie about, uh, how severe... Uh, this disease is all right because it really because scientifically it's no different than what usually happens every year which is you know a uh, certain type of flu strain i have to figure out how to <laughs> not get in trouble here so uh yeah it's just uh it's just aggravating and then rose mcgowan why is she on fox news you're saying necessarily you are in a cult uh Denounces the shit lips. So Rose McGowan seems pretty mad at the Democrats for some reason. Uh, says the Democrats are in a cult. All right, that works for me. Eventually she'll come around, I think. All right, so all right, uh, real ID. Man, this is starting to get kind of nutty. But at least I see signs of a lot of people getting very angry and starting to resist it very much. All right, so stocks have pulled back a bit. Crude is up an all right amount. Uh, silver is actually going up a little. I'm actually surprised, finally. Of course, it's still way below what I would have wanted it had I still been holding my SLV calls. Uh, Europe is still on sale, so book that vacation now. Well, I mean, again, they're trying to make people take those vaccine passports and shit. And it's already causing people to just die, like, suddenly. Like, like for example, they're saying, like, that famous scientist died, he died from diabetes. He didn't die from diabetes. He looks healthy, all right? He, he, he's because he's not fat, all right? But people are just stupid, so they'll just believe everything that they say. It's, like, it, it's just so aggravating. All right, so CL Guff is down 5.78% uh, or 8 cents. Wow. So this thing's been going down while everything else has been going up. Interesting. Interesting to know. I mean, Greg did say it would be a very uh, volatile stock, which would basically mean very risky. So Oracle. Oh, I, yeah. I sold all my Oracle stuff, so I don't really need to worry about it anymore. Wow, Oracle went down quite a bit. Because I, I sold my Oracle calls when it was at like $78 or $79 a share or something. All right. Well, that works for me. Exxon Mobil is going up, but it's slow. Dollar is up. Riot is up an okay amount. Okay, so we're looking. So the markets are down. What's Bitcoin at? I didn't even check. Bitcoin's at 55 grand. Huh. Well, still, Guff, I understand why it's going to go down. So it'll, I'll have to check the RSI in just a second. Riot's not up in Coinbase. All right, so basically, market forces are pressuring uh, crypto stocks. Uh, okay, yeah, being on a stock exchange really does suck. I've also changed my mind. I'm not going to take my company public. <clears throat> uh, it just turns out it's just not worth it. And I uh, I can still raise money while I'm a private company. Like, I was looking, I was reading up about uh, Epic Games. I didn't actually know they used to be Epic Mega Games, and then I just realized that might be the same company. So, yeah, and it was. So, you know, and obviously look at what they've become. I still remember playing something called Castle of the Winds and Solar Winds, right? And uh, yeah, you know now he's very now Epic Games is like some giant behemoth, you know, because they're guys that make Fortnite, they're the guys that make the Unreal Engine, which is what Fortnite runs on, and all that stuff. So, I mean, good, good company. Um, I forgot where I was going with that diatribe, but 
Short-term debt being bought, long-term debt being sold off. Okay, so right now people want cash. That's what's happening. All right. And they want cash probably because, let's see, what's Bitcoin? All right, so Bitcoin's at 55K, Ethereum. Okay, so cryptocurrency is going up, especially XRP. Cardano's recovering, Dogcoin going up a little. That's good. Uniswap is up amounts. Uh, VeChain, oh, yes. Well, there you go, 21 Point sixty one cents. It's up sixteen. So basically, up a little under seventeen percent. Yeah. So so money right now is being sold off. That's why debt's going down. Cash dollars going up because of all that debt being sold off. So it has to be settled in cash. So there's a demand for cash temporarily. Uh, and then it looks like the money is flowing back into cryptocurrency. Yeah. File coins at one fifty two seventy. Where's engine coin? Yeah. So two dollars and fifty six cents. Yeah. So this thing has already spiked back up. This is perfect. Twenty four hour volume is also very shitty at one point fifty one hundred fifty three point seven billion one hundred fifty three point two seven billion for twenty four hours. So this is amazing. This is really good. So low volume and things are going up a lot. That means there's a lot of cash waiting on the sidelines here. All right, let's take a look at the technicals here. All right, so Riot's making their push back up. It's still considered a sell for some reason. Okay. Uh, let's look at Bitcoin here. Let's see. Uh, Bitcoin Binance. Uh, bottom of the RSI. It's considered a buy. This is fantastic. This is beautiful. This is exactly what you want to see. All right. It's at the bottom here. And this thing is getting ready to rip higher. Like, oh yeah, look at that V chain, strong buy. Oh my god. Oh, we're going to t we're going to become multimillionaires, and we're going to take all this effing money that these evil rich pieces of shit have stolen from us and give it to ourselves. Um. Oh yeah, so I think I was trying to do a rant, but <clears throat> like. You know, J Jamie Dimon, the CEO of fucking JP Morgan, right? He says, Bitcoin's going to hit a correction minus 50%. The crypto goes down. Then what happens right after, the day after, right? Because it'll happen during the weekend. Oh, Bitcoin is going up and up and up. Because that's how the scam works, right? You're not supposed to do that. The SEC has ac actually said that's basically illegal. But nothing ever happens to these big fucking banks. Because the, they're the assholes that run this world. <clears throat> that's such bullshit. You know, that's why you should never listen to the news, right? Whatever they're telling you to do, do like the opposite or just ignore it. I mean, for more basic facts like, you know, A, X, Y, Z companies coming out with, you know, ABC new product or service. Well, that's fine, but that's because you can't manipulate it, all right? But everything else is like, oh, you should do this with your money. You should do that with your money. No, that's bullshit. It's specifically designed to make you lose money. Right, because they want people, like Greg says, they want people in the dollar because it's going down in value to make you poor. And in the meantime, you sell off all the good stuff, and then these evil rich people buy for cheap, right? And the reason why J.P. Morgan, uh, where was I looking at? The reason why J.P. Morgan is doing that is probably because they're doing the same thing like they do in gold and silver. They want to suppress the price so they could buy for cheaper. The difference is it's a lot harder to manipulate cryptocurrencies, which is why I like crypto. Right, that's all, and a big reason for that is low. There's basically no regulation, and it's fully decentralized, essentially. So it's impossible. It's very. You can't just go up to somebody and say, "Hey, tank the price of Bitcoin." It's like it doesn't work. Also, we all know that there's only like eighteen point six nine two million bitcoins, so it's impossible to short it. It's like, like, like GameStop got screwed. And then, I mean, the shorts on GameStop got screwed because they were shorting at 266%. They created 166% worth of GameStop stock out of thin air because of manipulation and lack of, and the SEC is corrupt and all that. You can't do that here because <clears throat> everything's out in the open. So, like, it's just, you can't, you, you physically cannot short, say, 30 million Bitcoin. That's just impossible. Uh, so that's, and you can't do that with any of these other cryptos. That's why it's, this why, that's why this is so much better than this, the stock market. And that's probably why it won't go to zero, unlike stocks, right? So it really is just the best kind of investment in the world, and you just make a lot of money very quickly. Like, what more can you ask for? 
So anyway, JP Morgan manipulates the price of Bitcoin. It goes down. Now it's going back up, right? And then dumbasses just sold it because they're retarded. <clears throat> but of course, you and I don't sell because you're listening to me. So if you've been with me for all these years, then you know how much you know money we've been making. So I, I, how long is this video? 15 minutes and 25 seconds. Because I'm actually experimenting with just streaming this while I record it. Just so someone can like listen to it later. But uh, but yeah, I do want to go because I got a lot of shit to do. So And I still have to do a live stream later after the market's closed. So I want to do SEC Coinbase JP Morgan. All right. You don't think JP Morgan is buying this shit? I want to show you something that I just show found out yesterday on stream. I showed it in my stream. But I'm going to show it here because uh, so I put this in the video. Morgan. All right. So this is the Coinbase SEC filing for the IPO, right? SEC.gov and then archive, agar, blah, 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 blah. All I want to show you is this right here, right? Bitcoin's going to fit. Bitcoin is minus 50% this weekend. Don't buy that shit. All right. I am Jamie Dimey. I'm a, I'm a legit CEO of fucking JP Morgan. It says right here in the SEC. Uh, uh, okay. Section 3, the Roman numeral. A price determined by NASDAQ after consultation with Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan Securities LLC, or JP Morgan, Allen and Company LLC, Allen and Co. at City. Group Global Markets Inc. or Citigroup in their capacity as financial advisors, right here. Financial advisors, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Allen Co. and Citigroup, blah, blah, blah. Citigroup will exercise any consultation rights only to the extent that they may do so consistent with the anti manipulation provisions of the federal securities laws, which doesn't exist for the big banks, including Regulation M to the extent, blah, 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 blah. So you could carry out their roles as financial advisors, blah, 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 and then common class A stock, and then so on. And then the word Morgan actually shows up someplace else. Uh, the listing of our class A common stock, NASDAQ, global stockholders, common editor, da, 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 da. novel process that is not an underwritten IPO. We have engaged Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, blah, 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 as our financial advisors. Yeah, so let's see. JP Morgan advises Coinbase IPO. Knows everything about Bitcoin because obviously they have to if you're going to underwrite and advise Coinbase, right? Because honestly, they're not stupid. They're not going to just randomly hire a random bank. Yet somehow that same bank's going to say, oh yeah, Bitcoin and crypto shit, just sell it. It's going to go 50 minus 50%. Like this is exactly the kind of fucking manipulation that just pisses me off. And people fall for it every single time. And then you have your censorship on Twitter and YouTube. And then, uh, well, you know, no, no one's the wiser, right? No one's the wiser. And it's just it's just evil and sad. It's evil and sad. That's actually why I want to make this something like this, like, part of my uh, Grand Theft Auto-like game, like, down the line. I'll put that in the storyline. I'll have to obviously change the names of the banks and stuff, but the idea is just to get the conversation going. If we had an actual honest video game industry with an actual honest culture, you know, we, we'd be talking about shit like this, right? Right? You got people that can't pay their bills, they're losing their jobs. In fact, the Asian guy that got his ass beat by the black guy a couple days ago, right? That's all over the, you know, NYPD hate Twitter thing. The reason why he was out in the middle of the night in Harlem, which is like the dumbest thing you can do as an old 61-year-old man collecting cans, right, for the five-cent deposits, because that's what we have here in New York City, is because he got laid off of his dishwashing job at the restaurant because of fucking coronavirus, Right? Like, this shit is, like, harming a lot of people. But because it's so complex, people just think, oh, Chinese people, bad. You know, they're the reason why I lost everything. Right? But they don't realize that it's all these evil people at the top that pre-planned everything. And they just fucked everybody over. And then, you know, only people like me or, or Gregory Manry or just a few, or Nick Fuentes, right? Just a few of us. Uh, wow. You just gained 400 followers. This is really good. Right, that, that are sh like that. We're the only ones that are shedding light on this, and then we're the fucking ones that are considered the bad, evil Nazis or whatever. It's like such bullshit, man. Such bullshit. <sighs> but whatever. We'll make a lot of money. I'll make my dreams come true because obviously crypto is going on a rip and tear yet again. Uh, in fact, crypto stocks are a little under pressure, and but still going up because the markets today are under a little pressure. Uh, and then I'll end this on, because I know 
There's supposed to be an FOMC thing today. Or tomorrow. Uh, yeah, okay, so there is a FOMC meeting tomorrow, and this was written 23 hours ago, so that's today. Uh, okay, and then they want to give support to the US dollar, which is false, because they want to tank the dollar. And actually, believe it or not, you and I want the dollar to tank, too. It's going to hurt a lot of people, but um, all you have to do is just buy something that's not the dollar. So literally anything. Stocks. Uh, not bonds. Bonds would actually probably be really bad because they're because you need a you want a strong dollar when if you're buying bonds. So bonds are no good. So you want real estate, stocks, gold and silver if you're more old school, and of course uh, cryptocurrencies, which is the best option. And you all know what I would recommend. It's V Chain. All right. It's already top 13. It's 21.6 cents. If you missed out the ball and dog coin or even XRP. Uh, v chains a really solid, well highly well balanced uh, cryptocurrency. It's got everything, right? And that's what I like. I like I like well balanced ideas and cryptos and assets that have like like, like everything. It's like the video games, right? If you pick the American side, because usually there's always an American side, quote unquote. They're not the great greatest at like any stat, but they're very good at like everything. It's like a very well balanced thing. That's what you want because you want to be flexible. All right, you want to be flexible. Sometimes you want to, you know, snipe somebody long range, but other times you need to, someone gets in your face. You need close range combat. Uh, you know, same thing in the markets. Sometimes you need to sell within like a couple of weeks. Other times you need to hold it for a year. Other time, and then you know, sometimes you just want to get out or I don't know, what's something in between? Oh, and then you want to do dollar cost averaging, right? Because you know, crypto's going up. Right? Crypto's got it all. I love it. And it's easy as hell to get it, too, because you don't actually have to do anything. You just click some buttons on your stupid browser. Right? You just go along on your Coinbase or Coinbase equivalent. Because I'm not going to tell people my broker. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, you know, just, just, just buy this stuff. All right. So, let's see. What do we got? Yeah, the dollar's not even going up that much. It's only, like, 11 cents. Yeah. So, this cash is definitely moving somewhere. The money is, the cash is going somewhere. Uh, some of it is crypto. Yeah. Market cap is now 2.08 trillion. Okay. Very good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I want to make sure I don't get kicked off of Star Trek Online. And, okay, no longer idle. All right, I got to do shit. So I will see you all either next week or after the market's closed. I'm not looking at a chat because, obviously, this is just Bitcoin clown world, so... All right, I'll see you in a bit. This is 23 minutes. Think about what I said. And also just stock up on crypto, all right? Just stock up on crypto. You know, nothing else, just stock up on crypto, all right? Just buy whatever you want. XRP, Cardano, Dogcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever. Or even Binance. Binance is actually pretty good. But you know my personal preference. I want the maximum amount of money that's very safe. So that's VeChain. Uh, Filecoin, I'm not buying anymore because I bought 52, 53. I already put 13 grand in. It was 50 two dollars or whatever uh, i'm not buying anymore it's too expensive so i'm just gonna let filecoin go straight to the moon and of course uh, engine coin also is pretty good uh but uh what am i saying engine coin is also very good because this is uh, a really good nft crypto uh, nfts are going berserk uh hedera graph hedera hash graph could also work but i don't like its performance it's already, already at 30 cents well, i guess that's not fair but I don't know. I guess you could do Hedera, but Engine Coin you can just buy right now because eventually I think it will be a, a listed on Coinbase as well. So wait, it's on Coinbase or I don't know. Like I'm starting to get confused, but I know that there's another big exchange that's supposed to list Engine Coin. I think so. Eventually it'll happen. So you're gonna benefit from yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Coinbase that has not listed Engine Coin, but they are looking into it. So if and when they do it, and I think they will because other their competitors, Gemini, Kraken, and whatever, have already listed Engine Coin, all right. And I don't think there's an NFT token on Coinbase for sale. So yeah, you know, Coinbase is gonna have to list something. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's just like right now, just you stay out of trouble. Don't get hit. In my case, I gotta avoid getting whacked for being Asian, all right. Uh, that's why I have my baseball bag. I've already shown that on stream before. I don't carry it on me though when I go out. Um, not because 
Because it's a double-edged sword. Because, like, yeah, I attract a lot of attention. It's like, why is this guy carrying a baseball bag? And why does he look so mean? <laughs> right? Because that invite, you know, trouble might invite trouble. So it's like a balancing act. All right, so, all right, I'll see you shortly or next week, depending on how you want to look at it. And uh, I, I, this thing has gone on way too long.